Hi everyone, welcome to my studio. My name is Diane Fago and here on my channel, I share with you working in my art journals, my collage journals, doing mixed media, junk journaling, and just all sorts of things like that. And today I am super excited to share with you that I have picked this journal back up and started to work on the last four pages that are in it. I am so close to finishing this. I only have these four pages left. I started working on them a while ago and it's just been taking me quite a while to just work on these and get them done. And just with going through a really big creative dry spell during all of that and all sorts of other things. It's just really kept me from wanting to work in this. And the other day, I just kind of started moving things around and started looking at what I had set out to work on these pages and thought that I would just go ahead and turn the camera on and to see if anything happens with putting some of these together. So I hope that you enjoy this. And if you have any questions, please be sure to let me know down in the comments. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I am so glad that you're here. This is um, New Year's Eve right now. It's December 31st, 2023. We're getting ready to start in 2024 and I just thought it would be a really wonderful way for me to start the new year with getting back in this journal and finishing it up um, and starting 2024 with a brand new collage journal so this will actually after I finish this one this is my second one of these that I finished so I'll be starting my third one so if you'd like to see more please like please subscribe and let's go ahead and get started with working in this I'm really excited I hope you are too so I was standing here in my room in my studio and just started looking through some books and looked down and saw this view and started thinking about what I was doing and possibly working on. And so I thought I would just turn the camera on and we will see what happens. Um, I the other day I shared a picture of this book up here which you can't see it yet um, I shared it on my Instagram I've had it sitting out and I was thinking about possibly cutting that out <laughs> just because I love sitting and just cutting really intricate things out I know it's insane I know it's crazy but I absolutely love it this one has been standing out since I bought the book, uh, I've had this open on my desk the past couple days, but I have kind of been poking around a little bit with the last four pages uh, that I have that I needed to finish in my big collage journal. And I've been working on those forever and um, for months. <laughs> and normally, uh, it wouldn't take me so long. Uh, in the past, I probably would have forced myself to finish them. And I just needed, um, I, just, I just didn't have it. I didn't have it in me to work on them. And I thought about it many times and wanted too many times and took them out and kind of moved things around and looked at them. And, but I just wasn't ready to start gluing them down. And that's sometimes especially with ones that have such intricate intricately cut out florals I have to be in the right headspace to glue that down because it's it's a lot of work and you just have to be really careful it's very fragile and I just didn't didn't have it in me so those have been sitting for months but I am feeling like I am really ready to start working on them again. And when I started working on those few pages, I 
started sharing just the whole process from the very beginning of doing those and um, and you know uncut full length me talking through everything videos and normally in the past with uh, my collage videos like that I've just done sped up versions with almost all of them but with these last few I thought that it would just be really nice to take you through my complete process with working on those pages and uh, normally like I said it doesn't take me that long to finish any but these these it has and that's okay but I have them setting out again I put them out the other day and started looking at them and I actually kind of made some changes in some things started I cut out a new floral for the last page and that's kind of where I'm at now I have I will bring it over here I had started working on this one a little bit more and thought it would be nice to give her a crown and I found this ring that I had cut out a while ago and I think it will actually look really kind of cool on her head and I will cut behind her head to you know to tuck it in to make it look like it's actually on on her head but I still thought that it needed a little bit more and I thought it might be nice just to have some little flowers or something on her crown so I just got in my little bins here that I have that just has bits and pieces of flowers. Some of them are bigger. A lot of them are just cut off pieces from the other sides of cutting up things, which I'll show you that too, where a lot of these came from. And I cut these out. And I like the way that they look on there, that they look on the crown. But this purple one isn't matching and I don't really care for the way that it looks on there it's too purple it's too vivid and so instead of cutting cutting out this one up here I thought that I might just kind of go through and start flipping through some of my floral books and see if I could find something that would work better up here which this one actually goes with the page that's going to be before it that has this purple on it so since it's already cut out I might go ahead and stick it on that other page just so that it does get used I mean it would get used anyway but you know it already thought that it was going to be on a page so now I feel kind of bad about not putting it on a page but I pulled out just a few of my books that I have almost all of my floral books that I have they've either come from half price bookstores or a thrift store um, or used on Amazon I very rarely buy brand new books on Amazon unless it's something that I just really 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 want um, that big huge huge floral book that I have I bought brand new um, I, because I, I just try to save money when it comes to, to buying books like this. So this one is a little bit more expensive than I would normally spend, but it has a lot. I have really nice little images in it. And I actually came across, where is it at? Did I put the sticker on the wrong page? I must have put the sticker on the wrong page thought I had found oh you know what it's in this one I was looking through this one which is another one that's just full so pretty and I came across this right here and I think that this might actually look really nice tucked in tucked in on this little the crown that that I'm making for my girl here. This is another book that I pulled out. 
while I was looking. And I came across, I mean these poppies are just absolutely beautiful. I love, I love poppies anyway. I think what I'm going to have to do with this book. Okay, I had to stop that because I opened this up and it had my order in it. It had my name and address on it. So um, I did get this one from Half Price Books. I think I actually ordered it through Amazon and it came through Half Price Books. Don't know how much it was. The price isn't on here. Um, but this one has a lot of really wonderful images in it. And I am half tempted because I love both of these so much to scan, scan these in. But when I was looking through it, I saw this one and I might cut it out. I love this on the other side too. Usually I do pretty good with not needing both, both of them. I just like how I really like that. But I was looking at this one, this peony. I like the way that it was curving, and I think it would maybe curve nicely around the last page that I'm working on, which is this girl. I'm going to get this big one out of the way. The big one. Just real quick before I put it away. I did pick this one up from Barnes and Noble. It's back in that section where they've just got, you know, all of all sorts of their books that are um, well around this price range. So I got one of these before Christmas. I was in there getting Christmas presents and I saw this and really loved the images inside. I love how big they are. I love using big florals and this just really, really has some beautiful, beautiful images in it. And so I got it and got it home. I was looking through it and was getting ready to possibly cut something out and I realized that I love practically every image that's on every page. And I think all of them spread across two pages. So what I ended up doing, I couldn't resist, and I don't do this often, but I did go back to Barnes & Noble and I bought a second one. And that way I can use all of the images that, that are in here. So the second time when I went, I actually only paid like ten dollars and five cents for it so I don't know why I got it on sale it's it said that it was on sale so I do have two of these beautiful beautiful book I imagine that this one will be the first one that I cut out even though I have no idea where it will go I am just really drawn to cutting cutting that out so but the images are just so beautiful I can't wait to really start using them more. Isn't that so, so, so cool. Okay, so put this one on the side. But I've got this here. This was the last, this one's the last, I don't know if it's actually the last page in the book. I think I technically already did the last page, but this is will be the last empty page in my journal. And originally, I had something else that I was going to place here. And this whole time that I've been working on these, I thought that maybe it was going to be this. And this came from a calendar. And I had just cut it out one time just to cut something out because I just wanted to cut something out and so that's kind of why it's been sitting around and it just seemed to go with what I was doing with these last few pages and 
so these will actually be side by side. But I'm not sure. And I got these when I got these back out the other day. I was trying to decide if maybe this was too big. The other day is when I also added thought that I add these wings to her. Which those will be tucked behind her back. And I'm just going back and forth on if I like this because I feel like it's too big. Color wise I really like how it looks but I feel like it might be a little bit too much. I know that if I use it that this part here will get cut off. I think it, um, I don't know. So the other night I decided that I did feel like cutting something out. And I was looking through the big floral book that I have. And I cut this one out. So this one is actually cut out, but this is what it looked like in the page. So I cut this one out and I thought I think as I was looking through the book and I was drawn to cutting this one out, in the back of my mind, I had this image in my head wondering if it would work on, on it. So as you can see, it's just all, all cut out. And I like the way this one looks on here too. It's a little bit, it's more delicate. But it needs more. This still, I need to add some things to it. On here, this is the front, so this is the back. And you can see all of this here. I will not throw any of those pieces of leaves or flowers away. I will cut those out and that is what ends up in in here. So that's what a lot of this is, is the back side of cutting out these images. And they're still usable. There's so much there that you can use. So you can cut out this flower and tuck it. I could tuck it behind here and nobody would know any different that, you know, it came from, that it's just like scrap. So I never waste any of that stuff. I don't let any, any pieces of Leaves of flowers go to waste. I save all of it. Even like this right here. This is just the outside edge of a flower that had been cut out on the other side. And I can use that. I could use that down here. I could cut out part of it and tuck it around along, you know, behind her, behind her back and get a lot of use out of that little bit. So even with this leaf, I could cut that out and tuck it in right there. So, um, so yes, I never ever ever throw any of this away. So I hadn't cut that out yet because I wanted to show you all first. But am I thinking that this one still needs a little bit more? instead of that big old one. I really like this poppy. I'm wondering if maybe I can put them together. Which, I'm not sure. Or I could just use the, the I mean, peony. This isn't a poppy. This is a peony. But I just like the way that it curved, so 
this is curving out. I wish that it was curving in the other direction. And I don't see a way that I can change that. Sometimes I can adjust things to make them work, but I don't see how I can with that. curved around her more like that and I don't even have a problem with putting this upside down but that's just kind of where I am with this and maybe I just need to flip through some more books and see if there's something that I feel might work there a little bit better. Oh, the iris is really pretty. I have a lot of purple on the two pages before. Before these two. Oh, where did it go? My dad always grew iris. We always had iris along the house. Alright, let's see. Maybe I'll cut out this real quick so at least I get something done. I'm just not rushing through any of this. Um, I don't want to, <laughs> and even just with sharing here, I just kind of have been feeling like just sharing just little bits of what I have been working on. And maybe not necessarily fully completing something. Just kind of a little bit of an update. I'm surprised that I've been able to talk as much as I have. Um, this past couple months, actually since October, <laughs> ah, I've had a hard time getting back on my feet. I caught COVID on, well, October 8th was the day that I tested positive. That was a Monday. Sunday is when I got hit with it. Saturday, late Saturday night, I kind of started feeling bad. By Sunday night, I was incredibly sick, and Monday is when I tested positive. So I had that. I missed a whole week of work. I wasn't able to go to work. Uh, and then last month, my daughter caught influenza. And she was incredibly sick for a couple weeks. And then probably the next week after she really had it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Um, so she had, she was very, very sick for two weeks. Started with influenza turned into sinus infection, ear infection, was working on turning into bronchitis. And then probably a week after that, 
I started not feeling that great. And last week on Thursday, so Thursday before Christmas, I was finally able to go into the doctor and they did not um, check me out very well <laughs> at all. Um, very haphazardly, not thorough, kind of diagnosed me, put me on some antibiotics and some steroids for my lungs because I have asthma and after being on steroids for five days I wasn't any better so I was finally able to get into my primary care physician and um, bronchitis, <laughs> sinus infection, ear infection, just like my daughter um, and ended up getting um, having to do breathing treatments, so I have to do four, four breathing treatments a day um, to try to open up my lungs and reduce the pressure that's been on them for a month now, so I've been doing that now for um, four days now, I think, and I am finally uh, able to breathe, <laughs> so I can breathe without feeling like a toddler sitting on my chest, so it's, um, I'm finally feeling better, but I have problems with starting to cough and things like that and losing my breath, and um, so, and I've been home by myself all day, so I haven't been talking to anybody, so I'm surprised that I've been able to talk, but... I think that looks better than the original purple flower. And I had to cut that one, I had to cut it because with the way that it was, it just, it wasn't working. It needed a little bit of something, a little bit of leaves or something underneath that pink one. So I think I like that. That looks much better than this purple one. And it's funny how just one little thing can kind of throw things off for me with that. That little purple flower, I, I don't know if you can tell as much, but it's actually quite a bit richer in color and it's way more purple. This is more of a dusty type um, purple. So, alright, I like that much better. I think actually I kind of have this one done. I just need to figure out how I want to put the words on it. So maybe, I don't know how long I've been rambling on here. Maybe we should go ahead and I'm not going to glue it in my journal yet. Actually, um, I'm not going to glue it in for a couple reasons. One is because um, it needs to be trimmed. I don't think that, well, I need to trim this off. I don't know if it's actually going to, if it's too long for, to fit on the page of my journal. I'm going to zoom you out again real quick here. I actually waited to do my breathing treatment because the albuterol makes me shake so terribly bad that it's hard for me to do anything, especially especially cut <laughs> cut anything. And I didn't want to be on here with my hands shaking. These are the last two pages. So this is this is where I'm at. These are the last last four pages that I've got in here. This one. Let's 
going right here. So yeah, see it's quite a bit longer than what I can have. So I do need to trim it. I can still, it's not going to change the placement of this stuff though because I want these flowers to curve around her just like that. So if anything, part of this, I won't cut this. This is going to get cut off some. But I won't cut this because it might have some left over to where it can go over onto the other page. This one is going to go right there. So it's going to look something like that. This has got a huge curve on it since this journal is so thick. I kind of want, I'm wanting to have some of these people in the background just because it goes along with the song lyric that I'm using, but I'm not sure if that's going to work. I think you'll be able to kind of see them. But that's, that's how this is looking right now. This is where these are going to go. I need to be careful with these because they're pretty delicate and I'm bending it all over the place. All right. Well, I for sure know that I can put her wings on. Okay, and I, I like working on this little mat. <laughs> That's what I've been working on for years. It is so old and it is scuffed up and dirty, but it works perfect. And these wings, these butterflies actually came from Hobby Lobby. And they were in a pack. And I believe that they were in the party goods area, believe it or not. And they were being marketed as just like something to place along as something decorative on, on your table for a party. So I cannot begin to tell you how much they were or anything like that, but they're, they're thick and they work perfect for my collages, so. I don't know how many came in the package. I can't tell you any details besides the fact that I know that I got them at Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. So, this isn't gonna be seen, because it's gonna be tucked behind her, but. Gonna go around. Around her really carefully here. I don't know how far up I want it on her neck yet. And actually, this doesn't have to be perfect as far as following along her body because this is going to be covered up with, with these leaves, but still. Yeah, that needs to go up a little bit more because I want some of that to be seen, I think up behind her neck. Maybe. It might not matter because I just like how this flower kind of tucks in around her.
I always like to have some flowers in front and some behind. And she's got like some sort of a headband or something on. I don't know if you can see that very well. Not that it matters, but I think I'll glue the flowers onto the ring first and then put the ring on her. Okay, so this is actually the next day. Last night I stopped working on this because I had some other things going on and I um, needed to work on something that I could do while, <laughs> while watching something. So um, I ended up getting out this book here because I thought well I'll just sit and cut out some florals I picked this up at five below not too terribly long ago so they might still have it and it has some nice florals in it and I think where I'm going to use them is in is in this book right here we're going to take a little side step here I'll show you what I worked on last night and then we'll finish up that page but I decided that I would for the next layer in this and I and I've shared just all of the different steps that I've been going through as I've kind of been working on and through figuring out what to do with this book and turning it into a journal but I think the next layers that I was gonna add on was some florals and so I did set last night and I cut this one out not knowing you know where it's gonna go in here just more kind of just something to get me working and to get me being creative and since I like to sit and cut these out I just have decided that I'll kind of go through and ones that catch my eye then I'll cut it out and then I'll have them ready to go in this journal whenever I'm ready to start putting things in Somehow that turned into me thinking about people that would go on there. And I've, and I've got a couple of these catalogs. I keep getting them in the mail. I didn't request them, but I've been able to find some nice images that, you know, would work in my, you know, possibly in my journals. And I think that the ones from here might work nicely in here. So last night I actually went through a couple. I probably had four of them. Yeah, maybe four of these. So I went through a couple of them and I just started cutting out any of the women in here that I thought would look nice, that, that I just liked. I didn't, you know, once again, just cutting things out. Don't know if any of them will work in here or not. There's a few that I left on, you know, the whole image. And a couple of these, I think these are from a, these are from an anthropology catalog. But that's just what I sat and did. And it was really nice just to sit and cut these out so I think the next step, I'm really struggling today with talking. I keep on coughing, so this video is probably going to be a lot of starts and stops um, as I have to edit out all my coughs. So um, I actually haven't done my breathing treatment yet today, and I think I can, I can tell. <laughs> um, but... What I'm going to do next then with this, just real quick, and I will do a more in-depth video on it, but I thought I'd just share with you what I did last night. Um, what I'm going to do next then is just kind of, I'm just going to go through my stack of people and just start doing things like this and thinking, okay, you know, where would this maybe go? 
actually that kind of goes kind of neat right there so that's what I'm going to do next and then after that I'm going to go through and just start adding some of these florals on here so let's see like maybe here put her here and then I can add something like that so that's just where this one's kind of progressing right now but it was just a nice thing to sit quietly and do and and cut these out there you know they weren't super hard and involved as as cutting out the florals can be and it was just nice to kind of go through some of those catalogs and take out what I needed and you know and, and throw away the rest but that is what I did get this to the side and then for this we just need to go ahead and get her put together. Okay, I might need to go make some lemon honey water. Um, with this one here, I already do have the, I know what I'm going to have on this, and it's it's the second part of of the page that's going to be in front of it, The that's lyrics from a song, and I'm dividing the lyrics up on the front page and then on on this page and so I am wanting I am needing <laughs> the crowd to be seen in the background because it actually goes along with the words that are in the lyrics and since I'm going to have to trim this page so that it fits in the journal I don't know if you're actually going to be able to see the crowd in the background so I'm kind of going back and forth on if I want to just cut her out completely and place her on top of another background. So I went and started looking through some of my magazines, <clears throat> excuse me, in hopes of finding something that would work. And I need, I need a crowd. And luckily I have a bunch uh, not a bunch, but I have a few National Geographics that I picked up at Half Price Bookstore for 50 cents. And I figured that would be a good first place to look for anything with a crowd, since just with National Geographic and the types of images that are in them, there's always lots of people and cities and things like that. And so I did find this one. And I think that it might work and then it might work nicely for what I'm trying to do because you can see the crowd in it but still the colors are muted and it's you know it's not like it's super bright crazy like if it was a crowd and it was like this so I like how this you know they're kind of they're in the background so I think this might work so I'm going to go ahead and cut these out and maybe kind of, I'm not exactly sure because once I cut my girl out of that paper, she's out. So let's see if I can maybe, I guess I didn't press hard enough there. I'm going to see if I can maybe kind of lay things out and see if I can tell at least if it's worth it for me to cut my girl out or not. I went ahead and cut out both pages because, well, this one, if this one you won't be able to see the crowd. It's quite a bit shorter. So actually, I could probably. I needed to put them together and where the seam is a lot of that could be covered up maybe not even noticeable where the two edges come together let's straighten that, that up 
because I'm kind of feeling like this is where this one's going to go because I really want there to be um, a crowd of people in the background. I'm trying to get this as close as I can. So yeah, if I have those together like that, it is not going to be noticeable to anyone that this is actually, that it has been cut. I just need to do it. My head is telling me that this is the way that it's going to be, and I am trying to second guess it and question it, and um, I'm, I... I've always told myself that that is not the right thing for me to do because when I start questioning things and not following with what I'm seeing, what I'm seeing and feeling, then I never like what I end up doing. And it never works out the way that I saw. So I'm going to bust through that self-doubt here. Because <laughs> that's what it is. I'm questioning myself. Having self-doubt over if I can, if it will work. And inside, I feel like this is the way it's supposed to be. So... Solves the problem of me having to cut around her head <laughs> to put her crown on because now I should be able to just slip it right on. I might have to tuck it in behind her hair a little bit. And if this background for some reason doesn't work, then I guess I'll try to find something else. I feel like this is going to be what I want, which is quite a bit different than normal, my normal backgrounds, but that's okay, because for sure my whole art journaling and collage style has always been growing and changing. And I think the time that I struggled the most with it was when I felt like I was stagnant in it and not, I didn't, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do or where I wanted it to go and that really tripped me up for a while. I know that I felt like since my life had changed so much that the places where I used to get all of my ideas and feelings and all of that had come out had changed so much I didn't think that anything was there for me to use um, as far as to create pages with but I was wrong <laughs> thank goodness there she is let's see if this fits on her head yep I'm still going to need to cut Cut around her a little bit. So let's see, how do I want to do this? I'm trying to picture how this ring is actually kind of put together, also. So this is the front. 
this is the front of the ring so technically this is not all connected anyway if that makes any sense <laughs> because normally if you put it on it would be like that it wouldn't be together so same thing over here on this side and just by doing this that might make it to where I'm able to wrap this around her head without cutting any slits in her hair it's kind of difficult to tell that with the way that it's made the way that the ring is made mm. Excuse me. There we go. Yeah, see it? That helped immensely, so I think I might... Actually, I don't need to do anything at all. There. Fit on her just perfect. But now, do you see? understand why I mm -hmm. trimmed it the way that I did? Because that's just where the back of the ring, where it would naturally wrap around anywhere. Anyway, where it would not, if this was actual real ring, it wouldn't have been connected in those places. So, I'm glad I cut that ring out. One night, I just kind of wanted to cut something out, and I came across it, and it was, it took me a while, because it was, you know, intricate, and it's pretty delicate, and I had no idea what I was going to use it for, if anything, and I ended up not using it at all obviously and it's just kind of been sitting in my little plastic tub full of jewelry that I have and it was just waiting I was waiting for her because that I really like that that got into good view for you or not. Okay, so let's see how this looks on top of here. And I think since this background, well, and that's another reason why I like the background being darker and muted is because I want her to, to pop out. You know, I want her to stand out from the background. I do think I'm going to push it over as far as I can to the side here because I want, this is what I want to be seen as all these people in the background. So I am going to have to figure out how wide I want this paper, this page to be because it's going to have to be the same width as the page on the other side. And the page on the other side is this one here. So this one will be on the front and then this one will be on the back. So this also needs to be trimmed because this is, it was the same size as this one was. These are both from the same book and this is actually from um, a book about fashion that was a calendar so every day it had this on one side for the day and then on the other side it had a fashion uh, magazine type fashion show type model image and some of them are really really cool in it so this is going to have to be trimmed because we know since we looked at this one um, last night that this is that this one was too big so what I need to do, excuse me, what I need to do first then is trim this one up, decide where it's going to be on, on the page. I know that I want a lot of this, so I'll probably trim it closest on this side as I can to make it fit in my journal. But I am really glad that I decided to do this to cut her out and place her on a different background. So if I 
Move this a little bit there. Yep, that's it. That's what it needed to do. Yep. Okay, so first thing we need to do then is I need to grab my other journal. And, okay, so I went and made myself some throat coat tea. Um, let's get this out of the way. I'm really, really, really happy that I did that. So here's my journal. It's gonna not like this at all. There you go. This one is actually gonna go on this side. And I do need to cut quite a bit off. So I'm gonna start on this edge. I want as much of this as I can. I'm not going to cut, I'm not going to trim the top or bottom, even though it's quite a bit bigger than this. That's fine. It's totally fine. I don't care. It's just, I'll just sandwich the two images. So, there's still about an inch to cut off on there. I might take a little bit more off on this side. The image that's on the page before this one, the floral, um, is going to extend from this page and it's going to come across on her like that. So, I won't be adhering this image in my journal because it's going to depend where this image goes in it because I'm going to have to adjust her placement on here depending on where I want the floral to go across so I'm whenever we're done with this I'll show you what I've got working on with the first two pages and even this there's a little bit here, so I'm not going to cut it necessarily right here, but still, I want to make sure this isn't coming off the edge, so I really don't need to cut that much more off of it. I might just cut a little bit more off here. There. Just about a quarter of an inch, and I think... This is good. All right, perfect. Okay, so now we know how big we need to cut our crowd. I should probably go ahead and glue the flowers down on her. I'm wondering, I tore that a little bit. I might try to repair that. There's a little, this one right here is ripped. I don't know if you can see, right there. Oops. I might repair that really fast. It's not a big deal. I've got like a little bit of shred paper here from cutting out that other image. I might just use it because I need it to be thin and this is pretty thin. So make a little band-aid here. I think this might be just perfect. This is probably hard to see, 
where's my little mat? Here we go. Okay, so I'm trying to, I'm going to repair this little bit right there. Slightest bit of glue. I don't totally have to do this, but I want this to stay together nicely. I don't want to accidentally, I don't want to accidentally tear it even more whenever I'm putting it together, so. This is actually just the tiniest bit too wide. I know this is really, 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 really being a little anal over this, and that's okay. <laughs> that's my journal, so. Blue might have dried by now. All right, Put a little band aid on there. Oh, there. Okay, so let's see. So for this, first thing I need to do is get these two pages stuck together. Make sure that I've got it right. Okay. I think I think I'll just kind of do the same. I might. Well, I know I'm cutting off part of the bottom here. I've got some strips of paper over here, but they're not they're not wide enough. I don't think. I like what that says. That says uh, reclaims its freewheeling soul. I think we'll keep that. I'm going to put that in my basket of words. That's just too good of a, of a, of a phrase to not use. I'm always looking out for things like that words and phrases that I can clip out. You'll find them in all sorts of places if you keep your eyes open and look. I'm just going to use my mono adhesive because I don't want to use wet glue on that because it, there's a chance that it could cause the paper to um, to buckle, and I don't want this to buckle, so since this is just to hold it together until I get everything, all of it together, I think this will be just fine. Okay. I'm 
just going to do it this way. It is not completely lined up, of course, but I don't think that anybody would ever notice. And I don't know how much of it will actually be showing. It kind of depends on where I decide to put her, but still, um, if anybody's, <coughs> excuse me. But still, if anybody's looking that closely and says, oh, hey, you know, that's two pieces lined up together and that doesn't match, they're looking way too close. And once again, it's, it's my journal and I don't care. So I think I'm just going to kind of, this is um, my stipulo. And I don't know if I should even bother doing this. I was going to try to rub out that white edge of the paper a little bit but that's just me being silly because it's okay all right so now I need to figure out where what part of this image I want because I want to make sure that I make get the most use out of the actual crowd part of it because that's why we did all of this was to have the crowd seeing it on this it's really shrunk down the amount of the image that I had because um, this was quite a bit bigger the original image so I had all sorts of space over there and now I don't because this is what the page is actually the size of it's going to be so I'm now I'm really glad that I did what I did because looking at her now I don't think that there would have been that much of the crowd in the background of the original image that I was going to use so I want to make sure that I get the most out of what I'm actually wanting to be seen and I think this is probably pretty good right here I'm going to use just this line of this building as my little visual here on where to cut on this side. Okay, I've got these scraps of watercolor paper paper here. I think what I'm going to do is just kind of use this to see. If this is where I want it to be before I cut it. Right. 
because these wings are also going to cover up some of the crown as well as the floral. So this is where it's looking. And I think it's going to work. Just like that. Just trying to get some of that behind there. Because if I move it over more this way, that's not going to make it much of a difference. All right, I'm going to go. I think this is good. Maybe lead coming out of there. Okay, there we go. There's our page. I don't think I'm going to keep that. Put this in my basket of images. I've got it. Let's get her crown on first. Just 
just the littlest bit of glue. I'm not exactly sure where all it's going to be touching her head. Actually, I was kind of thinking about, I'm going to trim this. Maybe tuck that in there. done this before I put all this glue on here. This glue is like super sticky and this is really fragile but I kind of feel like I want that tucked in behind there a little bit. But it's going to be covered but I don't think it matters. All right I'm not going to mess with that because this is drying to my fingers and this is going to be bad. It's so delicate. I shouldn't have done that. Should not have fiddled with that, but hey. All right. I think it's just this pointy end that's kind of messing with me a little bit because it doesn't need to be there. I'm half tempted to cut those little bits out. I don't know how much it'll be seen though, so it might not be worth it for me to do that. I think I will. She's not stuck on there. I know that this is probably actually this color that I'm cutting out is part of flower, but I think I kind of maybe want this to be open like it is. Since the ring has all those open places, it'd be neat to be able to see some of the ring through this area, possibly. I'm not sure if it will or not, but it's kind of what I see, so that's what I'm going to make happen here.
I feel like this is a little bit too big. These are just like little bits of flower parts that were left over from who knows what and um, just kind of oddly shaped bits and pieces. So ones that I had randomly cut out for one reason or another. I actually might take off this and move it to the other side. That's way too much glue. That way there's some of the same green on this side too. I'm just moving it over to this other flower. This glue dries quite quickly. Um, it's not like using a glue stick where if you use a glue stick you can kind of um, sometimes move things around a little bit. All right, there she is. So now There's a chance that I might be able to I'm trying to decide if I want to cut the top of her. No, I don't want to cut the top of that off. There's a chance that I might be able to add something up here to cover that up to make it, you know, something that's going on on this side. Like if I had part of a flower, if I can find one. You know, if this had an image that kind of came up there, then I could place that up there to where it would flow up there and it'd also be covering the top of her wing. I did something like that because this has gonna have all sorts of stuff coming up and floating up here but I'm not sure if, if that would work which is another reason why I'm kind of hesitant about totally gluing everything until I'm working on all of it this is kind of one of those since it's all blended together working on all of them, almost all four of them at the same time, except for the very last page. Because I want to make sure that I've got the crowd. You can see the crowd in the background. Might just tilt it a little bit. Okay, so then... Then I can move her. She doesn't need to be like totally at this angle. I like her at that angle, but if I stand her up more straight, then I can see more of my crowd in the background. So there's that option. Let's see what that looks like with my flowers on here. I know that I want 
that to do that. Maybe that's just what I need to do is have her standing more up straight. Then I can show more of this. So that's what that would look like. As opposed to her tilted. All right, I need to stop fiddling with it because I'm I'm fiddling now. <laughs> Have a drink of my tea here. Um, so let's get her wings on her. My pencil here has decided not to have any lead in it. I'm just going to draw a little line here to help me know where to place these. I don't want to get this really wet with glue because I don't want this to buckle, but this image is fairly thick. So it's not like if it was a really thin magazine page to where for sure it would probably buckle. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put the flowers on her and then I can move her around as much as I want to figure out where we want her to actually be. here is hanging on for dear life <laughs> which I could move this one I could cut it free from its stem here and move it if I wanted to uh, that could help kind of free up some of what I'm trying to do as far as show the crowd in the background I'm wanting this, I'm lining the curve of this flower up with the curve of, with her back. I'm 
Okay, I think I like it right there. I was lining it up down here too so that there wasn't a gap. Now the fun part. Which I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but since I'm wanting this to be in a very specific place, I don't want to put a bunch of glue on this and then have to pick it up and lift it and try to move it and things like that. So I'm just going to glue this down bit by bit. This is one of those times when just going slow and taking your time is worth it. Because if I had tried to put glue on this whole thing and put it down, it might have been a disaster. And I might not have been happy with it whatsoever. I'm not going to put glue on that one little floating flower there for a bit because I might I might move it this one here is what I'm talking about Starting to come together. It's getting real. <laughs> it's getting really real for me since I've been working on these for so long. I know there's a little bit of glue on there, so I need to be careful because I'm not committing myself to anything just yet. So with this flower, I can actually I could actually completely take it off if I wanted to, and that really opens up the crown in the background. I could take it, I could cut it off, and I could move it up here where there's some space, where there aren't any people up on that bit of road up there. I need to watch it. This is good. Or, if I wanted to, I can move it over here on this side so that she had a flower on this side as well. Let's just cut this off. I could cut that off too if I wanted to because it's coming from the background. There's not, uh, the stem is not going in front of the leaf so nobody would know any difference that it was there or not or where it belonged. It's got the part of the stem there, which I think won't even be seen because I'm going to be cutting that part off because it's actually going to be down here.
Actually, I think I kind of like that over here. Might be able to lift this up so that I could kind of tuck it like that. That way she's she's just completely wrapped in flowers. I think I'm gonna cut this one off too. Now you can see my crowd, which is what we've been going for this whole time. I don't even need to use this blossom, but I kind of like it. I might tuck it in a little bit behind that one. All right, that's much better. So let's get this one. I need to fill up my little bottle of glue here. Delicate, delicate work. I'm going to wait on that one. I'm not sure where I want to place it, if I want to use it at all. I could maybe put it over here on this side. All right. So... Okay, I think this is good. It's going to be a little weird. Where we go? I might just move over a little bit. I am moving it over a little bit just because it's where those two images are glued together. It's kind of obvious right there for me since I know it's there, but just scooching it over a tad just totally covered up that line. Okay, so I think I'm going to put her head down first here. Oops. It's trying to get in for a better look there. Got a little towel. Here we go. This is just a soft uh, old tank top of mine that I've cut into squares. I need to decide if I want to use this. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. I 
once again, I don't, I don't have to, and I just have it, so... I feel like it kind of sticks out. I don't think I will. So I'm going to put this in my little basket of flower bits. being careful not to bend that so that it creases because sometimes creases are really difficult to get out. I don't know how much of this is going to be on there, so I'm not putting any glue on it just yet. Okay. And I'm just patting. I don't want to rub it because if I rub it, I risk um, snagging the fabric on the edge of one of these flowers and I could possibly tear something. I don't want to do that. All the work that we put in. I know I've got some adhesive on here so I'm not going to lay that down. Let's get the back trimmed off and there'll be bits and pieces of these leaves that I can save. I'll put those in my little basket. I might put another bit a strip of paper here where our seam is at. There's quite a bit there. If I wanted to kind of do that, but I don't think I'm gonna. But I will save these florals, these stems and whatnot because there is a chance that I could use them on another project tuck in places here and there. I don't know if I'll... Oh, I'm going to let that dry. So I'm just going to put a little bit... A little bit of another little band-aid here. And this is wrinkling it for sure. Which is okay. <sighs> there we go. There she is. All right. Well, I have to find the words to put on it. I know what it's going to say. I need to decide if I'm going to write it or if I'm going to use found word or if I, I can type it out. I've got an old typewriter. Sometimes I, for long things, I just type them out. Sometimes it's really difficult to find words when I'm looking for something, when I'm looking for something um, specific. Of course, then it's always really difficult for me to find exactly what I'm looking for. And sometimes it's the most common word and I still can't find it. But I'm gonna grab my journal and show you kind of where we're progressing with with all of these where these are going let me zoom out really quick i'm going to place this here so hopefully I've got something to focus on this first one carries on into the second one and it's got a lot of moving parts to it right now because nothing is glued down And in previous videos, I have shared the progression of these from from the very beginning, from choosing the images to to where 
we are right now. I've been sharing videos on just my process for doing all of that. And this one hasn't been trimmed either and quite a bit of it's going to be cut off. But this is going to flow. from this side to this side and I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do all this on this side now since I had to cut off so much of it but there and there's a big this is curved a lot <laughs> so this actually is curves all the way over here because this journal is just so thick so that is this page and now I'm not sure if this is going to fit. I might have to adjust things a little bit. So it goes from this page to this page and then this one to this one. So I'm going to have to find a little bit of something to put here on the edge because this one's not wide enough. But there we go. That's that's where we're at. That is, that is what's going on with these last few pages in my journal here. So whenever it's open like this, you'll be able to see that one there. And... And this one's open on this side. It'll look like that. So that's another reason. That's why I said that I have to work on this one before I can place this one because I'm going to have to adjust where this one is on this little base page so that I'm able to carry the vines from this side to the other. So a lot of a lot of thoughts been going into these last few pages since I have them all tied together so so much. But looking at this now though, I like how this looks here and how these leaves look on there since you can see so much of it. So I think I made a good decision on swapping out that that floral, but still change. I really like how this watch looks on here but now that I had to trim her I'm not really quite sure if it's gonna work. If it does I might have to move some things around. Kinda looks neat with her eye peeking through there. I don't know if you can see that very well. That's actually kind of cool. So I might do something like that. I could trim it too. I could trim off these bits of of it and and that would that would help make it fit also. It will be difficult for me to since this is curved so much to carry this onto this page because I could do that. That is also an option but since it's got such a huge curve in it I don't know how well it would stay but it's a thin image so that might be something that I can do also. I don't know if you can see that. It would be something like trying to get a hold of it. It'd be more like that. So it'd be part on... It'd be part on both pages. So that's something else I can do. So that's why I've kind of really slowly just going through these and um, just working on them bit by bit. But I'm really, really excited that I got this one done. And it makes me really want to start working on these and getting these last last images, these last pages done in my journal, because this is it. This is 
this is it. This is all that's left in this. So, um, it is full, and it's full of a lot, and um, I'm just really excited to finally just about be done with this one. So I started it. I started this on April 26, 2015, and did a few pages and then quit and hadn't opened it up until um, the year before last, last summer. So I've been working on this off and on for the for the last year. So um, I hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much for being here with me. And I, um, it just feels good. It feels really good to be working in this. It feels good to be sharing this with you. And I am just really looking forward to working on these, getting them done, and starting my next journal. So this will be my second, second one of these that I've done. So thanks so much, everyone. Thanks for being here. Um, thanks for dealing with the stopping and starting with this one due to my breaking out into cough and losing my voice and all of that and um, be sure to like and subscribe and um, keep an eye out for for more I will share my progress in this one for sure I might do that next actually because now that I've started working in this I'm also kind of excited to be adding more to it also so keep an eye out for this one and um, let me know what you think I'd love to hear from you love to hear how you're doing and I will see you all again really soon thanks so much everybody I love you and have a good day bye